Good morning. Let us all please stand and let's wish each other a good morning and turn to one another to welcome each other to our celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. And today we celebrate Friday in the eighth week of Ordinary Time. And our opening hymn for today's Mass is the Servant Song. What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your soul, Jesus, Jesus, you are the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with great trust in Jesus, we now take this time to call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Your Spirit strengthens our virtues. You remove our doubts. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You make your house a house of prayer. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. But of others, there is no memory. For when they seized, they seized. And they are as though they had not lived, they and their children after them. Yet these also were godly men, whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their family endures, their posterity for their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure. Their glory will never be blotted out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the new sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord, the Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. 
For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple area. He looked around at everything, and since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as he was leaving Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing from a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went over to see if it could find anything on it. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves. It was not the time for figs. And he said to it in reply, May no one ever eat of your fruit again. And his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem, and on entering the temple area, he began to drive out those selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. He did not permit anyone to carry anything through the temple area. Then he taught them, saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples? But you have made it into a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes came to hear of it and were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him because the whole crowd was astounded at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Early in the morning, as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, Have faith in God. Amen, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be yours. When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The story of the fig tree and the story of Jesus cleansing the temple in this gospel are both related stories. First, the fig tree. The fig tree represents Israel, whom the Lord takes delight in, as we heard in the psalm. God loves Israel. But so often Israel would stray away from God. And so God would send his prophets to call them back to conversion, to repentance, back into his love. But they would still stay away. So what ended up happening was a curse was laid upon them. That is to say, they separated themselves from God. They cut themselves off from the source of life. That's the fig tree, Israel straying away from God. 
What about the cleansing in the temple? Well, the temple represented the dwelling place, literally, of God, meant to be kept clean, unstained, pure. But because the merchants and the money changers and people of the world came in and defiled the temple, Jesus had to come in and, and drive them away so that the temple would be clean and pure and unstained once again. So how are these two related to each other? Well, we hear from Paul in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, that we are the temples of the living God. With Christ, we are the new temples meant to be kept unstained, clean, pure, undefiled from sin, basically. The sins, for example, of uh, ego. I want things done my way. Uh, the sins of unforgiveness or resentment when we hold on to anger against somebody else. The sins of the flesh, the sins of lust, all kinds of different ones. God wants us to be cl uh, clean and pure and unstained in our soul. And when Jesus sees those stains, those sins, what does he want to do? He wants to enter, just like he did in the gospel, and clean. Clean away any of those, those sins, the defilements, the place that dirties the temple of God. Now, if a person, the temple of the Spirit, doesn't want Jesus to enter, or doesn't allow Jesus to clean away the sins, doesn't allow Jesus to do his work, in a word, doesn't bear fruit like the fig tree, of repentance and conversion. A curse, quote unquote, as it were, is laid on the person because he or she has separated himself or herself from God. They've taken themselves away from the source of life. This is the meaning of the two connected passages. Jesus wants to enter, to clean, and if we don't allow him, then we don't bear fruit. We're disconnected, a curse is laid upon us. And so may these stories help us to reflect, especially on this Friday as we remember the crucifixion of Jesus, the Fridays, to allow him to enter into our hearts, to cleanse away anything that doesn't belong to God, and to allow us to bear fruits of true repentance, of true conversion, that we would live unstained as temples of God, temples of the Holy Spirit. Trusting in the power and presence of Jesus, we now present our prayers to the Father. Our response this morning, make your dwelling among us, O Lord. Make your dwelling among us, O Lord. That the leaders of the church may teach God's people to obey God's command out of love and not out of fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Make your dwelling among us, O Lord that we may be faithful to the command to love God and to love our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Make your dwelling among us, O Lord. That those who are walking in the darkness of sin may find inspiration and courage to live up to the demands of God's commands. Let us pray to the Lord. Make your dwelling among us, O Lord. That we may never neglect the sick, the elderly, the lonely, and all who suffer in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Make your dwelling among us, O Lord. That the dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Make your dwelling among us, O Lord. The intention of this Mass is offered for Kayla Patrick. We also pray on the birthday of Emma Aguado, 
in thanksgiving for Ricky and Edith Rosales. We pray for our sick Joanne Catherine Bernardino and Paulo Angel Macareg, and for the eternal repose of Rita Tadulan on her death anniversary, for Myrna Jane Messina, Marciano and Paz Blanco, and Margarita K. Garcia. And in silence, we offer to the Lord our own prayers and our own petitions, as well as the prayers of our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Make your dwelling among us, O Lord. God our Father, help us to welcome your Son Jesus Christ into our lives, to cleanse our hearts of anything that does not belong to you, and so bear fruits of true repentance and true conversion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni Suncheli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Mm -hmm. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and forth by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And you stay. Tweet all is Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. I will sing to the Lord, who has been bountiful with me. Sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High. The body of Christ. We now pray in union with our brothers and sisters who are joining us online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And our closing hymn is Here I Am, Lord. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I, who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send?